Today on the channel, we're gonna pour one out for the recently departed Fuji Pro 400H, one of my favorite films. And sadly, we can't shoot that film anymore because Fuji, in their infinite wisdom, discontinued it. They actually said it was because they couldn't secure materials anymore to produce the film, but either way, the film is no longer with us. So today, guys, I'm gonna show you how to make an extremely accurate Fuji Pro 400H preset in Adobe Lightroom. So let's get to it. All right, so first we're gonna open Adobe Lightroom and we're gonna get a picture with a lot of green in it. I'm kidding, it doesn't have to have a lot of green in it, but the Fuji Pro 400H effect really shows up well if you can find a photo with some foliage. So we're gonna open up our development module and start dragging sliders. And we're gonna begin with a plus 82 to contrast. Minus 63 highlights. A plus 29 to shadows. A minus 53 to watts. And a plus 80 to blacks. That's really flat in the frame a lot. And right now we have some really wild greens. We're gonna go down to the texture slider and plus nine there. It's gonna give it that little bit of film graininess look. Continuing on, we're gonna we're gonna do minus six on the vibrant slider and a minus eight on the saturation slider. And again, that's just taking some of that color out of the frame. Uh, gonna help us get those more muted, more subdued colors that we associate with Fuji Pro 400H. Now here's where the real secret sauce goes on. And that's with manipulating the color on the HSL and color tab. And you may have to click that open. And there are three different tabs here, but we're gonna start with the hue. We're gonna add plus five to the reds, plus seven to the oranges, plus 22 to the yellows, plus 48 to the greens. Now we're starting to shift those greens to the blue end of the spectrum. Three to the aquas, minus seven blue, plus 21 purple, and minus 25 magenta. All right, so now we're going to the saturation slider. We're putting a minus 10 on red, minus 22 orange, minus 33 yellow, minus 51 green. You can see that done a lot right there, look at that. Plus seven to, the, to aqua plus five to blue, minus 11 purple, and minus 39 magenta. And for our last set of sliders here that we're gonna mess with, nothing on the red slider, one on the orange slider, 28 on the yellow slider, 28 on the green slider, 14 on the aqua slider, 19 on the blue slider, 18 on purple, and 14 on magenta. And that completes all of the color shifts that I wanted to do. Now from here, save this as a preset, and I'm gonna show you something else that we can do. Now that we've got it saved as a preset, you can go through and start making some individual tweaks to the frame to bring it up to your taste. Usually, folks like to overexpose Fuji Pro 400H. So from here, we can raise the exposure at one and a half stops overexposed. You're really getting that wedding photographer, portrait photographer look here. So let's try the preset out on a few more frames and see what it looks like. A loving photo of me and my children. Let's drop the preset on it. And it isn't as pronounced. And this is what I was getting at at the start of the video when I said you wanna pick a shot with a lot of green in it. This shot doesn't have as much green and you can see it didn't do as much, but it still gave really good accurate, if a little cool colors. So we're gonna raise the exposure on that a little too. And there we are, a really nice film look on that shot. A picture of me holding my dearly beloved and we'll crop that vertical. And again, we'll drop the preset on it there. So guys, that's how we make a really accurate Fuji Pro 400H Lightroom preset. If you thought this video was cool, check out this video where I show you how to make an accurate Aerochrome Lightroom preset. Give that a look.